Okay, let's try to summarize what we understood up to now. First of all, each industrial revolution brings a resource revolution to people. They are going together. Second, using new technologies, new materials, we produce new products. And then, of course, new products become new waste. So, I want you to think that in the third industrial revolution, the very meaning of waste will change. As Attilio said, waste will be redefined quantitatively and qualitatively. Advantage of productivity will result to less or almost zero waste for key industrial sectors. New types of waste will be generated by new technologies that use new materials. And then new types of waste will be produced due to the consumption of new products. Each industrial revolution goes together with a huge wave of social unrest, but also with a huge increase of consumption. So there will be a huge wave of new waste due to consumption. And finally, industries will be the main beneficiaries of the changes directly. Indirectly, the whole society will be beneficiary, but it will take longer, as we will discuss. Now I think we know a lot about the Industrial Revolution, so we can move to the concept of circular economy in this broad context. Well, first thing I want you to remember, circular economy is both an element of the Industrial Revolution, but also a result of it. Let's see what are the dilemmas about that. Circular economy is a driver of the Third Industrial Revolution, because it tries to resolve the problem of resource scarcity. But at the same time, Circular economy and follow-up of specific material and chemical element cycles will never be possible without the, all the other innovations we just discussed. Without the Internet of Things, without the sensors, without the driverless systems. So, circular economy, as I told you, is a specific tree, maybe a big one, in a forest. And to understand the role, we have to understand both the tree and the forest. Thank <laughs> you.